They say true love comes quietly without uh, banners or flashy lights. I personally disagree because we're here celebrating the loudest, flashiest love story I ever seen. Weddings are often mistaken by perfect endings. I like to think they're perfect beginnings. In this case, it's the perfect beginning for two wonderful people, Elda and Andrew. If you would have told me five years ago that I was going to be standing here giving a toast on my best friend's wedding, or attempting to give a toast, apparently, um, I would probably think you're drunk. Not because she's not a catch, because she's a great catch, but she was the most cynical person when it came to love. Me and her go way back, and we have gone through many great times and also trials and tribulations. But when she met Andrew, I knew it was time for her to share these moments with him. Well, some of them. Let's face it, I got his back. Um, but seriously, I want to leave you with a quote that will probably make my best friend throw up five years ago. But I think in this uh, wonderful night, she's going to find it very appropriate. If you're looking for a word that means caring about somebody, beyond all rationality, it is love. And when you love somebody, you can't stop. Even when the world rolls their eyes and calls you crazy, even then, you can't stop. And you won't give up. Because if you do, then it wouldn't be love. It would be called something else. It would be some other disposable thing that is not worth fighting for. So let's all raise the glass. In name of true love, because make no mistake, tonight we are on express. Congratulations, Elda and Andrew. I'm so nervous. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You did so good, though. Thank so you. Good. I was going a little, a little fast. That's okay. I feel like I was running out of air.